I'm halfway through the video game. I um, I actually played this game very diligently um, while I was at work. Don't tell my boss, but um, I was playing this game for you guys and I'll, and for me too. I love this game, but um, the type of zombies that are in this game are much more different than the ones. Uh, you're used to from the prior um, video games and the reason is they look a lot like the experimental laboratory zombies that you encountered in Resident Evil 4 um, so that's one of the things that are different on this video game but uh, besides that it's almost the same um, it has more of that survival horror um, feel to it um, with a hint of that action shooter and the reason I say it still has a bit of the action shooter is because this video game is not based on solving riddles and finding missing pieces judging from the graphics you're seeing here uh, this video game could easily pass off as a port to um, the Xbox 360 or even the PS3 and uh, the reason I say that is because, um, you know, at the beginning of the Xbox and 360's lives, I will, you know, everybody was very impressed with um, what kind of graphics it offered. But uh, later on in the life of these consoles, I kind of feel like graphics aren't really that big of a deal anymore. So um, this video game definitely uh, raises the bar on what DS games should look like. Um, they, they made very good use of um, all the resources the 3DS had to offer. Um, as far as gameplay goes, uh, this video game does give you that nostalgic feeling, but it also um, it also has traces of that action shooter um, style in it. And the reason I say that is because uh, this video game does not rely um, solely on your abilities as a detective and being able to add one plus one and find hidden uh, treasures that will help you out in, later on in the story, but um, it relies more on mission-based objectives. And so this makes this video game easier than an old school Resident Evil game but not to the point where it's a walk through you still have to work for um, your prizes and all your hidden items and of course the puzzles in here are um, are very uh, well designed Those puzzles that I was talking about and um, as that's going on on the top screen, on your bottom screen, you actually get the panel and you can use your uh, stylus to unscrew it or you could just tap your fingers. I just use my fingers because I feel it's a little more efficient. I don't have to be fussing with it. But this is one of uh, the puzzles that you encounter. And basically, you have to complete the circuit so the door opens. So... Um, so these have electricity running to them, this one doesn't, so basically you move this one up, and this is one of the more simple, uh, one of the more simpler ones, so I'll move that up there, oh, and you see that it gets a little more complicated, so, Okay, don't make fun of me if I don't get this right on the first try. There you go. And your bottom screen, they make great use of your bottom screen. Uh, you have all your inventory so you don't have to uh, hit start and equip your gun. So from here you can actually if I want to take the shotgun, I can equip it just by tapping on the weapon I want. And you have your secondary weapon that does that. 
And the knife here is actually very useful as far as combat wise. It's not like the old one that the zombie just kept running into you. You have uh, BOW uh, decoys, and basically what that is is it emits a sound and it gets the uh, BOWs riled up and around the bomb, and then it explodes. Then you have your stun bombs, you have your uh, grenades, and then your uh, incendiary grenades. So that's also very cool. And you could equip it, so you just hit uh, your damn. What button is that? I'm thinking PlayStation. You hit your X button. I was gonna say triangle. Um, you hit your X button, and it uh, performs the action you need it to. So I've been playing this game for a couple of hours so it really now, was Rachel. and um, the controls I feel are awesome, they're responsive, um, they conform to the 3DS's uh, configuration perfectly actually. Um, you know, I kind of felt like I was playing Resident Evil on... Um, the GameCube, sort of, and um, this is me playing it without the uh, circle pad that this game also came out with, but now it's on back order because the video game is so popular, you know, everybody ordered it. Um, I'm playing it without the circle pad, and still I don't find any anything that uh, really crippled the controllers or... Um, something that wouldn't let you experience uh, the video game how it should be. Now, I know with the circle pad it gives you the freedom to um, kind of look around and have that second analog stick there to help you with the controls, but um, you can look around by uh, kind of uh, putting your finger on the second screen and just uh, moving it it really does help you out and um, you know another th another alternative to the circle pad is of course uh, the Genesis contraption where um, if you hit up it puts the viewfinder there and of course you have uh, that range to just look anywhere you need to but um, I'm almost done with the game actually I, I think I have two more uh, chapters to go, and um, I'm loving the game so far. The story is uh, is really good. It, it gets your attention and it keeps it. Um, I would highly recommend this video game for the 3DS. I know the 3DS has gotten uh, some bad media as far as um, as far as you know, not having a strong library of video games and not being able to support not being able to have uh, the support of third-party uh, developers as the PSP had and other <coughs> previous uh, DS's and Game Boys had, but to be honest with you, if you don't get this game, you're definitely missing out on a gem, just because uh, this video game uh, pushes the DS to its limits, all of its limits. There really, there really is no um, the limitation that uh, Capcom found with the DS so kudos to Capcom I love the game I highly recommend it guys go out and get it uh, show your support for Capcom's uh, reinvention of Resident Evil this is kind of um, this is kind of a uh, It's a step back into the roots of Resident Evil. It's not a complete one, 
because there still is remnants of the action shooters but I'd rather have a game like this than have one like Resident Evil 5 where it you know it just uh, sucked out all that horror out of the video game and that survivor aspect of it um, <clears throat> And just as a last note, you do have a partner in this video game, but he proves to be as um, he proves to be as helpful as a wet match in a dark cave. He really doesn't do much for you. Um, he'll shoot a couple of slugs here and there, but nothing really to uh, nothing really to improve uh, your chances of surviving. Um, he just kind of goes along for the stroll which is nice because it gives you that sense of you being alone and you having to rely on yourself again so uh, my grade for this video game I give it a 4.9 out of 5 and the only reason it's not a 5 is because it's not a complete step back into the Resident Evil genre so um, this is definitely a step in the right direction. I highly recommend it. Go out and get it, guys. You'll love it. This has been Tom from Classic Plastic, and I hope you really enjoyed my review. Thanks a lot.